exerting efforts to reach sustainable development. The meeting dealt with ways of enhancing bilateral ties in a number of files, especially political, defense and economic fronts. The meeting also tackled the latest developments concerning the Palestinian cause, where the Congress members lauded Egypt's support of positions for peace processes. In this regard, President Sisi voiced Egypt's constant position to reach a comprehensive and fair solution that would guarantee the rights of the Palestinian people. Egypt denounced storming Al-Aqsa Mosque by Israeli occupation forces and violence against the Palestinians inside the mosque. The foreign ministry called for self-strength, providing protection for Palestinian prayers and allowing them to perform their rituals at Al-Aqsa. The ministry also stressed its refusal of violence and incitement with all its forms, including the call for breaking in the mosque during the holy month of Ramadan, warning of its impact on stability and security in the Palestinian territories and in the region in general. In light of Interior Ministry's efforts to detect crimes, the Ministry released a statement to wrap up its activities in the past seven days. The statement included the Ministry's successful campaigns to detect cases of drugs trade and smuggling. Within the framework of promoting the traffic services across Egypt, traffic violations were reported across the country to apply traffic laws and to facilitate its movement. The statement included, meanwhile, the ministry's successful campaigns to control markets, arresting traders who manipulate the prices of basic commodities or hire them to be sold in the black market. A number of tax evaders were also arrested and paid the due taxes. Tunisian authorities intensified efforts on Saturday to avoid an, an environmental disaster after a merchant fuel ship carrying 1,000 tons of fuel sank off the coast of Gabis. The Tunisian Navy had rescued all seven crew members from the ship, which was heading from Equatorial Guinea to Malta, and sent a distress call seven miles away from the southern city of Gabis. The Environment Ministry said the cause of the incident was bad weather, adding that water had seeped into the ship, reaching a height of two meters. The Ministry said in a statement that authorities were working to avoid an environmental disaster and reduce any impact. It said barriers would be set up to limit the spread of fuel and cordon of the ship before suctioning the spillage. The UN Migration Agency said Saturday a migrant boat has capsized off the Libyan coast, leaving at least 35 people dead or presumed dead. The International Organization for Migration said the shipwreck took place Friday off the western Libyan city of Sabarta in major launching point for the mainly African migrants making the dangerous voyage across the Mediterranean. The IOM said the bodies of six migrants were pulled out while 29 others were missing and presumed dead. It was not immediately clear what caused the wooden boat to capsize. The tragedy was the latest to involve migrants departing from North Africa to seek better life in Europe. Russian forces resumed scattered attacks on Kiev, western Ukraine and beyond Saturday in an explosive reminder to Ukrainians and their western supporters that the whole country remains under threat despite Russia's pivot toward mounting a new offensive in the east, stung by the loss of its Black Sea flagship and in 